Okay. Do you want him to swap out for the camera? Oh, pickle bag. It's like old cabin. Okay. Oh, then it's <laughs> getting it getting it done one way or another. everyone we are moving Loki back outside right now so not tomorrow <laughs> sorry about that but we are going to get um, Loki he's a hybrid cat that has been in the hospital um, since last week he had been noted as slowing down on eating people said he was limping he seemed a little lethargic so we brought him in for a full exam, nothing super noticeable in the exam, but when his blood work came back, he is at the extreme um, ends of kidney disease. And so we are not totally sure how much time we've got left with him, but we know he'll be happiest outside. We're gonna be monitoring him very closely, giving him all the foods that he wants. He's now going to be on Azadil, a kidney supplement and he's also now going to be a sickle cat. So right now they're just getting Loki into um, a cage that we can transport him in. He did good. He was like, I'm hiding from you. Oh, you're taking me somewhere. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. Ready? You gonna go back outside? Yes, you are, you boy. I know we sure do love being outside. He can keep chasing those lizards. All right. So I'm going to. Uh, you'll just have to hop on the back. I still okay, got all my fine. med stuff happening. Okay, right. <laughs> <Watch this. laughs> yes, don't let it go, okay. kid. <laughs> all right. So Loki will be going back into the same enclosure that he was already in, the two by four enclosure that is next to Mrs. Claus. So Mrs. Claus is having an, an interesting day today. She got um, Val, a brand new neighbor, and she will have Mr. Loki back. So I had a talk with her a minute ago in her barrel. She was real excited. So I'll keep you guys up to date um, with Loki. Basically, he got to the point where it was taking us three to four times a day to go out and get him to eat a regular amount of food. He's back to eating regularly. He got a lot of sub-Q fluids over the weekend, and we will try the new supplement. And like I said, I just think he's gonna be happier in general being outside. None of these exotic cats ever want to be indoors despite what people think. So I'm glad to hear he's coming back outside instead of the cabana.
I know, there's just too much happening over here now. Oh, oh Miss Miss, it's okay. It's the same neighbor as before. So like my your end facing that way, facing away. Yes. And then you guys are gonna come out, and I'm gonna go in and open it. Sorry. Sorry, I only got one hand. There we go. <laughs> Make sure to move a little bit back that way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So good chance Loki's gonna. Come. Firing out this way and go up and over. So I'm gonna get over here, the safety entrance. Good job, buddy. Go slow over the ramp. He's like, or oh, come back this way. <laughs> there you go, there bud. Go. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Oh my goodness. Very slow. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Mr. Speedy Gonzalez. It's all right, buddy. Let's see, Mrs. is up in her tree now. Trying to figure out what in the world is going on over here in this corner. So, Mr. Loki is back outside. I'm not going to get any closer because I don't want him to panic until he finds his den. But everything's like brand new out here because they raked everything and put down new grass seed and cleaned a bunch of stuff off. And so. It's all right, cute boy. Yeah, he's gonna be very happy to be home. So we will check back in with him. Probably tomorrow. I'm sure I'll check it back in with both the cats we just moved this afternoon. All right, so what we're gonna do is clear the heck out of this area and give everybody time to just talk to their neighbors and relax. And I'm gonna go finish meds and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Thank you guys so much.